Hi, welcome back to 8482 Media. In the last video, I showed you how you can create more than one artboard on one Illustrator file. Now I'm going to show you how to export those artboards. So in front of you, I have an example of a project. Here I have, I believe, 14 artboards in total, and I'll be showing you how I want to export just a certain numbers of artboards. Um, maybe I might just want to export this artboard here and this one, or you might want to export all of them. So for us to start exporting, we're going to do File, Export, Export As. And Export As, you choose where you want to save. So I'm just going to go ahead and save on my desktop. And here you can choose your file format and the amount of artboards. Now, usually the file formats that is the most common one is BNG or PNG or JPEG. And a lot of people always have them confused. Um, what it is is that PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics, which basically is a lossless compression Therefore, um, it's a smaller file size with a better image quality. However, compared to the file size of a JPEG, now JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group, um, JPEG has an even smaller file size. However, um, it has a lossy compression. So the, the file, the quality, of your art um, will be significantly lost usually. So this is why I usually prefer exporting in, in PNG than JPEG. I'm just gonna go ahead and do PNG. And now I'm gonna want a certain amount of artboards. So you see, I did a little quick mistake right here. Sometimes you want to export two artboards, but you forget which artboard they are. So here um, in my previous export that I made, I wanted to export artboard nine and artboard six. If I wanted to, I could have done artboard one, two, artboard three, so a range of artboards. Um, now let's see which artboard this is. So for us to know which artboards they are, I'm just gonna go to edit artboard. And so we can see here that actually, don't get confused. The artboard number is 14, this is 13, and this is 12, etc. It's not artboard 27 or artboard 26. Artboard 27 and 28, um, not 26, 28. <laughs> um, those are the artboard names, which is why it is important to name your artboards correctly. Um, do not do what I did in this example <laughs> because it, it, it gets confusing. So let's go back to our exporting file, export, export as, use artboards, PNG, range. So let's say I want to do artboard 14 and 13. And do export. And then here you have your PNG options. A lot of people get confused with this too. It, it can be a little bit overwhelming, you know, what in the world is anti-aliasing and interlaced and what you don't know the difference between the resolutions. Um, so here I am. So resolution, basically PPI is pixels per inch. The higher the resolution, the larger the size. And it depends what you're, ex like what you're needing your artwork for. If you're working with screens, so for example, if it's a website um, size, you want to do 72 PPI. That is the usual resolution that you need for screens. It's, and it's a lower resolution. So you want smaller file sizes because if you have a file size that's too big on a website, it'll just be super heavy and it'll take a super long time to load the page, for example. So in this case, I'm going to do 72 PPI. And anti-aliasing is basically what makes your artwork smooth, what smooths out the edges and the pixels. So let's do art optimized because basically you have here art optimized or type. So art optimized is better for more drawing type artworks um, where you won't have ragged edges. 
and this is better for type. This one's pretty explic explicable. So in this one, I will actually do type because there's a lot of type on these and that is the important part um, of these artworks, their advertisements. And interlaced, interlaced is not really important. I never really use it. Um, it's basically more for uh, network sharing, but that's, that's not necessary for now. Um, the background, so the canvas that we have right now, it's white, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we want to see the artboard when we're exporting. You just want to see your artwork. So I always do transparent, but you might want a white or a black artboard at the back if the artboard is part of the piece. I'm just going to go ahead and do transparent. And then you can click OK. And there you go. And you should be able to see all the file sizes. So let's go here, applications, desktop. There you go. You can see each one of these separately. So let's go ahead. You have the first one and the second one. And both of these were exported individually. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment them below and we will for sure get them answered. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for any other videos that we'll be posting. Have a great one.